Hello everyone, welcome to Vajrang Talks and we have Parth with us. So Parth and I will be uh, showing a demo on how to use forms to do email verification with an OTP. Like right. when you're doing uh, a registration uh, and when someone submits an email uh, to verify that whether the email that they have provided is uh, a valid and authenticated. Along with that, uh, it, they have the access with the email ID that they have provided. That's the main goal of this particular right. workflow. Uh, so let's uh, give you details. Yes. And let's give my mobile number. So we are not checking with uh, email validations and uh, mobile validations here. So let's. Okay, so when we click on send OTP, hmm. it will have an option to enter the OTP. Okay. Okay, I'm sending the OTP. So we have a OTP yeah. panel that's available. Okay, so for now we don't know the email since we didn't send this as a uh, what what email uh, type did we make made it available for this form? I think we used the SMTP, right? Yes, yes, SMTP is used. SMTP use. So since we are not using it for now, let's see what are how the validation is being done. Let's right. assume that uh, the I I don't know the password. First thing is I don't know the password. Right. So so if someone else is trying to enter the OTP, so okay. then it will how it will show the error and validate that OTP. Okay, seems good. So let's add some value here, which yeah. is okay. So there are validations again, those should be a numbers and it should be a six digit valid number, a six right. digit character. Right. So let's assume that I sent a, okay. So this is how it works. So we have three retries available. So in three retries, if we don't submit the correct to our valid email or valid OTP, then the form will reset itself, right? Right, right, right. Okay, let me try to change it a random value, which I still don't know. So if someone else is trying to enter the OTP, he won't be able to submit your particular details unless and, the OTP is correct. And one more thing I would like to say is, let's say that the email, okay, let's assume that the email that's given is wrong. Okay, let's try with a different email. Uh, I just want to add uh, a 1219 to it. Okay, so I will right. reset the OTP. Now a new OTP is sent again. Now, uh, since the new OTP is sent, the form reset and counter should also be reset, right? Right, right. So let's add one more time, one more time. So okay. here, yeah. So here, what are we doing? What are we getting? So here the counter is again reset. So because okay. we have changed our email ID. So now again, the new email ID will have the attempts to enter the OTP. Excellent. So let's try with uh, one more time or let's let's completely invalidate it. Yeah. Okay. So two times it and we entered wrong item and we are entering three times. Uh, okay. So the max retries are reached. Now we are trying to reset the form. The form also will be automatically reset. So okay. now again, the user needs to enter all the details. All the details. So let's close the form. Okay. So let's close this here and let's debug it and show how the validation can be done okay right and right let's keep a breakpoint in this let's debug just debug the flow okay so the value is a chunk now I want to enter correct details. Okay, sending the OTP. Okay, so how can we, while debugging, there is an option for us to check using the immediate window. So all I can do is I can send in the power value. So the OTP, valid OTP is 052055. So right. You know, this is the valid OTP and let's wait for this to be validated. Okay, I yeah. think there is a continue button that we need to click on. Okay, so the registration is successful now and done. 
so where the data will be saved pat the data is so when your registration is successful all the data okay. will be saved in an excel file so those details like whenever there is a success message or success yeah. value that we have then so we... the seventh entry is the one which we did right now and it has okay. all the details okay excellent so let's save it and close yeah. so that's it and uh, i think this uh what what can be the use cases of this particular demo so this can be used as a snippet in where we are trying to build a complete registration or kind of form like a complaint registration or something so Correct. there we can verify users mail id which is connected to that particular software so there we can use this otp verification method so well there is a uh, internal requirement gathering sheet or some right. research and thus we can directly use this snippet and we can get the values right right, right. so here uh, i would like to say few things um, one thing is when we are since we are sending otp using smtp the input arguments are sender email id uh, which can be my email id or someone's email id uh, along with that an associated password should be sent as an in argument what exactly do we get as out arguments from this thing? we will get to know if the otp is verified a boolean like okay if i want to use the snippet only to verify it i can use that as well right okay along with that if i want to keep the code to add the data somewhere else so from this form directly we are getting all the out email name and phone number as out arguments so we can directly use this as a uh, uh, invoke workflow as well to get the values out and we can write the values in some other place Right, okay. right, right.